Mary J. Blige has been on a mission to distance herself from Diddy in the past couple of months. Starting from when he first got sued by Cassie in November last year for all sorts of horrific things. It continued after Diddy got raided by the feds and after the video that just leaked of Diddy brutally putting paws on Cassie. Mary J. Blige completely distanced herself from Diddy, claiming that she had no idea what was going on. But fans are calling BS on this, accusing her of turning a blind eye to Diddy's actions and helping him cover it up. Mary J. Blige ditching Diddy isn't all that surprising, but the speed at which she distanced herself once fans started dragging her is crazy. Now that's a shocker. Like Jay-Z, Mary J. Blige has always claimed that she and Diddy are tight for life, her ride or die, and all that stuff. If you think Diddy and Jay-Z are close, he and Mary J. Blige are on another level. They go way back to the early 90s. Diddy even produced some of her first albums, including her debut, What's the 411? So yeah, they've known each other for at least 33 years. Diddy has always given her flowers for being one of the greatest performers and vocalists of all time. In an interview, he said, Mary J. Blige is one of the greatest storytellers in R&B history. She created a lane for women around the world to speak their truth to power, so nobody deserves this success more than her. More than being my sister and my best friend, she will forever be a pioneer and the queen of hip hop soul, who remains an unstoppable force that can accomplish anything she sets her mind to. But things took a nosedive from the late 1990s to the early 2000s. They had a major falling out and barely spoke for a few years. Their beef was pretty intense. Eventually, Mary J. Blige admitted that the whole thing was her fault. She said that she was a mess back then and just couldn't keep her act together. She said, the reason we split up is me not understanding the business the way I needed to understand it at the time. She explained, he had a label, he had a female artist, he had Biggie, but during the time, I was really dogging myself. I was a mess on Any smart man or businessman would have moved away from me. It felt like he was becoming distant, but looking back, I now understand why. I wasn't delivering properly. I wasn't taking care of my health, so how can he roll his dice on me? Diddy eventually forgave her, and they got back to being besties. But now, Mary is trying to convince everyone that she and Diddy aren't as close as we think, claiming that she burned that bridge a long time ago. The timing of this is pretty interesting. It seems like she's trying to distance herself from Diddy now that things have gone south for him. With him being sued by five different people for SA and with the video that just leaked of Diddy hurting Cassie, Mary is not sticking around. New surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs abusing his then girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day. Mary has been going over and beyond to distance herself from Diddy ever since the feds raided his houses in March. After the raid on Diddy's LA and Miami houses, Homeland Security released a statement saying, earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. However, Diddy's lawyers slammed the feds and claimed that it was a witch hunt. They released a statement that said, this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. But the feds weren't messing around with Diddy. Soon they started picking up and detaining people close to him. His sons, Justin and Christian, were cuffed and detained during the raid. Two of his assistants were arrested and his alleged supplier, Brendan Paul, was nabbed at Miami International Airport for possession. The RICO charges were looming and everyone saw it coming, including Mary J. Blige. She didn't waste time, posting a cryptic message on Instagram saying, unfortunately, a lot of you all met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser. Let me reintroduce myself. I burn bridges as needed. While some people were shocked, many weren't all that surprised. After all, nobody wants to catch a RICO case. Plus, there's been talk for a while now that Mary J. Blige endured the same treatment Cassie did while she was with Diddy. Allegedly, Diddy beat her up and forced her to use a strap on to please him. Reports claim Mary didn't want to do it and would break down in tears afterwards. There were also rumors that Diddy got her pregnant but forced her to get rid of it because he didn't want to have a baby with her. This incident traumatized her so badly that she decided never to have children of her own. She hinted at this in an interview where she said, I have nieces and nephews forever and I'm always watching how people are scrambling for babysitters. 
I don't want to go through that. I like my freedom to go and move and do what I want to do. I don't want to have to tend to someone all the time. Right now, that's where I'm at. But I don't think having kids is going to happen. But wait, that's still not the entire story. I mean, she has continued to be friends with Diddy even after he did all that. So why exactly is she switching up on him now? I mean, apart from the fact that she is getting dragged for filth by fans for aiding and abetting Diddy's bad behavior. But that's not all because it turns out that Mary also had a couple of skeletons in her closet. For those who don't know, Mary J. Blige had an intimate relationship with singer Danny Boy when he was 16 and she she was 24. Danny exposed the affair in an interview last year saying that the first time they got intimate was in 1995 after the Source Awards. He claimed that he and Mary J. Blige were invited to a party along with other people like Diddy's baby mama Misa Hilton. He claimed that he hung out with the group and had a couple of drinks before going back to his room. But then someone called him back claiming that there was a woman who wanted to see and meet him. When he got to the room where he was asked to go, Mary and Misa were the only ones in the room. We was talking. I think I left out and she'll call me back up to the room. Say, come back, come back upstairs, man. Or, old girl want want to see you. Fuck is old girl. Mary sitting on the couch. So I know the girl that he in the bed with don't want me. So I went, I'm, he closing the door. I sit down and I start talking to Mary. In the inside, I'm about to lose it, cause. I'm actually sitting here talking to Mary. She's sitting on the couch and we ordered some food and some more drinks. He went on to claim that Mary got very touchy with him and was actively flirting with him. He also claimed that she put her head in his lap, touched him, and that things got very, very intense. Hey, I'm 15, 16 years old. And she laying on the couch. And I'm sitting on the other end and she lay down on the couch and put her head in my lap. I'm like, damn. He can't be talking about Mary. He was talking about she wanted me to come back up here. Now she's on my lap. And I'm sitting there and I'm wondering, I'm like, okay, what, what is this going to end up to? And she stayed a couple, she stayed a couple more hours. And uh, we decided to go in the other room because it was a sweet. We went in the other room and lay down. And she lay down with me and she kind of like, backed up against me and every time she backed up against me I would move away and shit you know they eventually did the deed and it wasn't a one-time thing either according to him they continued doing the nasty and it turned into a full-blown affair with Mary flying him out to New York often so that they can get their freak on he claims that she led him on and tricked him into thinking that they were in a committed relationship but he soon found out that she also had a thing going on with Tupac at the time from that time I had an opportunity to go out to New York and visit her a couple more times. But you know, that's why I was kind of confused when I heard Kurt saying that Mary was pot girl. Because uh, at that time, she was my girl. <laughs> at that time, I'm 15, 16 years old, and she flying me in to see her. And uh, you know what it is when a girl back up on you, you young, I'm trying to show her that she ain't phasing me. Even though it was consensual, Danny was still a minor, so this puts it right in the category of statutory SA, which is similar to some of the charges laid against Diddy by Lil Rod in his lawsuit. We found this out after we went over and beyond to distance ourselves from Diddy, but like I said, fans are not buying this. Fans are dragging her by her baby hairs, pointing out how she was perfectly content to keep her mouth shut about Diddy, even going as far as to call him her ride or die. Fans believe that she helped Diddy hide his crimes and she is not as innocent as she claims to be. Fans left comments saying, just as bad. If you're complicit, you accept it. It's been a million years she was riding for him. Don't switch up now that the block is hot. Don't want to say this, but Mary J. Blige know more than what she said. All those around or associated with Diddy should all go and serve time. And she knew exactly what he was doing. Now she's trying to play victim. Girl, bye. I'm not buying it. Girl, this is a hot stinking mess. But y'all drop your thoughts in the comments. And then check out this next video.